Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. I had a little trouble starting the show because I I, I I didn't push the I just stopped it and started it for the recording. What else is new? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the show for you at all. And, uh, and no one wants to talk uh, to people. Let me just people. make sure. What? And no one wants to talk to all people. people. We'll, we'll talk to you in a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> speak for yourself. Uh, what? Speak for what? yourself. If speak to you. Speak for myself. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see here. I just want to check something out here. Um, uh, I have no idea. No Where am I? Huh? Where, Where are you? I? I haven't put you on yet. Well, do that. Why? Otherwise, I'm going to bed. Oh, if uh, I can't uh, be seen, I'm going to bed. You're going to bed. I'm if going you, to bed. If you can't be seen, well, if you can, I be, can seen. be seen. Okay. okay. We don't want this. We don't want this place to go uh, like last night. We don't want to blow fuses or anything. I was asleep during that. Yeah, we blew it fuse. You get close. Put the mic directly. I didn't get blamed for it. Uh, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. Or you probably blame me anyway. No, no. It it was a uh, was a problem last night that we had. Uh, and you solved it. And we well, I mean, no, you solved it. We turned on the electricity again. What I was happy with was the fact that um, you didn't have to go to the basement. Huh? You didn't have to go to the basement. I, I didn't have to go to the basement. I found out that when you when you have burned something out in here, it's just these rooms go out. So. Well, that was good. Yeah, let me uh, let me just uh, do this. Wait a minute, I'm just all out of it. I can't figure out what to, how this works and all of that. Is that weird? Huh? That's because we have a visitor. Yeah, that's because we have a visitor. Are we have a visitor for four days. That didn't. That didn't. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Huh? Four days. Really? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Really? And part of Friday night. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. We have no. a visitor. Why is it that this is not? Uh, that I should be able to tilt this so that it. Uh, I I guess we're. Oh, I see. Ten oh eight. I see why. Let me do this. I just I just want to make you a little more. Ten oh nine. Huh? There we go. Okay. Apply. All right. I just wanted to, I just wanted to frame you better so everybody uh, could see you better. How okay. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Actually, you're bigger than I am, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway, uh, I don't care anyway. What, what 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 happens with this show? I'm giving up on it. I could tell. Yeah, I'm really giving up on <laughs> it's it. It's been noted. Yeah. Now, so tell them about our guest. Well, you tell them about our. We guest. have a guest. Yeah. We have a little one that's staying with us for five days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, a kitty. A kitty. The kitty, uh, Berta, is staying Berta with Berta came to But visit. she's different than she was last year. Well, she's grown up. She was a kid well, last year. Well, you know, my somebody said that what they used to do is they would have cats until they, be, as long as they were kittens, and when they grew up, they drown them. And start over again. And start over again, yeah. Because, uh, no, but she, she's, um, she, lo you know what's strange? The first time she came over. Last year. Last year. She went behind a door and hid. And then when she, when we found her out, the, and cats do not like to be found out, okay? That's true. That they're hiding somewhere. But when she found out that we knew where she was hiding. She came out. She No, she came out, but then she went somewhere behind else. Behind the washer. Behind the washer. When we found her there, she finally came out and said hello. Yeah, well, tonight she came out quicker. Oh, well, tonight, it was like... It was a very short time. Yeah. And now she's so needy. I'll bet if you go outside, she's, she's right, right outside out in the carpet sleeping. Are you sure? I, I just left her. Why don't you open the door? Wait, wait a minute. I'll go back and look. She's I right see. outside here. It, it, uh, really? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. No, she's not. Oh, she left. She left. Wow. Yeah. Well, she might be in the bathroom. Yeah. So much for that. When I walk like this, people can see how skinny I've gotten. Yeah. Ah. 
Anyway. I had a croissant today. It's a pleasure having her visit us. It's, I had a croissant. Stop it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had a croissant you today. You don't stop, do you? I looked up croissants, 24 Oh, cars. man. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. I'm only staying till 10.15. Why? Because. Why? Anyway, so so uh, so we have this kitty here now, and the diva. She's been aptly well, named the I diva. Didn't, I didn't want the kitty here. He never wants her. No, no, I didn't want the kitty here, and I'll tell you why. Here we go. It has been ungodly hot, and and, and so therefore, uh, if you have the kitty here, we worked it out. Well, we're trying to work. We it worked out. it out. No, it's not. worked out. I imagine now you're going to go in the lip in the bedroom. And the screen is going to be gone, and so is the kitty. Well, we did our job. We did our job. We did everything to keep the cat safe. Yeah. No, but I go crazy when she goes and sits on the radiator. You know. Radiator. Yeah. By the way, this shirt looks great, doesn't it? It does. Did you notice it last night? Yes, I did. Yeah, it looked great. So I didn't wear it. But I see all, all the day. stains in front of it. Are there stains? In front? Oh, there are. <laughs> well, I hope you can't see. Them he wears out there. his food well. No. Well, I'll, well anyway, so we. I went to I went to uh, uh, physical physical therapy. therapy, which is doing me no good at all. But, but I took you out to lunch. But wait a minute, let me finish with physical no. therapy first. You're like Phil. You changed the subject. I'm just continuing on our journey of the day. No, but anyway, so I uh, I went to physical therapy, and uh, it's not really doing much of anything for I me. Told but you that. but I think I think that's the doctor wanted to see if. It works, and it we works. know it doesn't work. So now give me the goddamn drugs, will you? Right? Yeah. Mm. Hmm. So anyway, um, so we got Berta. That's about a, That's the excitement in our life, folks. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's otherwise, it in a otherwise this is what two old people do when they got nothing else to do. They don't talk to each other, and they don't have nothing to talk about. So there's a station in town that uh, is thinking of doing weekend live programming because they're, they're a talk station. Here? But they have nothing but like paid programming and stuff like that and are thinking of doing it. So I, I, I've been in touch with that guy in the past and I haven't talked to him, written him in about three years. He said we... we, we was that the guy that was a friend no, of no, Albert's no, at no, time? No, 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 none of that. He, he doesn't even know. He knows this guy only because he worked at, at Sirius. And so uh, this guy writes me and tells me he heard this on the air. He said, you should write him. And I went, hey, I, I have his, he gave me his address. I mean, I have his email address. I said, I have his email address. We've been in contact before. He said, let's talk in a couple, a little while, and never got back to me. That okay. was what, four years ago? But I'm thinking of sending him the, uh, the URL for the audio from last Sunday's show and say, listen to this. And I'm just hoping that he listens to it what and hears Sunday something. What Sunday show? The show I did for... Oh, you, oh that so su- show. Oh, that you show. That show. So I, soon I thought you, forget. you were talking about your podcast. Send him a URL for that and uh, tell him I, to listen to it and, and, and let him hear somebody saying, hey, I'm old. You know what I think is better? Send them something. No. I thought that show was exactly what AM radio wants. Old. No. It... it, it, it this is, you know, this is, that's a fucking internet, you know? Well, that's true, but that's where radio's gone. No, radio hasn't gone there. Radio has is gone, okay, but radio, you can't call this radio. Well. It's not radio. It's, it's not radio. It's whatever it is. No. The radio is a long gone art form that I fell in love with as a kid and doesn't exist anymore, well, except what I did on Sunday night and when I did it I came away from it kind of with uh, you felt good well no I actually I've been having um, what do you call it postpartum depression because I, I really enjoyed doing it again you know and uh, I, I felt that I would uh, uh, you know I'd like to do more of that so I don't know so I'll, maybe I'll write this guy and say listen to it and if he listens to it he might find something interesting yeah, there you know you got good feedback. because I, I, I make a big deal about being an old guy you know that's true and and quite frankly who's their audience for talk radio it's not kids I'll tell you that right now why look at listen to the ads it's all about potions and lotions <laughs> Yeah. Same with the, same way with the uh, Sunday morning programs. Well, yeah, oh yeah, 
That's all. Well, no, not the, Sunday morning programs. The the, the newscasts and the Sunday morning programs. All those advertisements, uh, you know, are all for uh, old people. It, and if it isn't, yeah, yeah, I would say that the ads for cruises fit into that. Cruises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and all these ailments that are now letters. Yeah. <laughs> but this thing that we're doing here really frustrates me. Uh, last night, I I always put my video on Facebook. Last night, like 30 people watched it. And I went, what's this all about? So I fucking took it off. I watched I, it. I just said, the hell of them. Well, you, yeah, I'm, t I'm thinking of not running it on Facebook. Uh, and um, just allowing it to show up on, uh, well, it would have to show up on YouTube because I'm doing it on YouTube. But uh, I'm thinking of um, doing it on uh uh, where do you call it? on on Gabnet and that's it. You know, if you want to hear it, go over to Gabnet if you want to hear it the next day. And I don't care if I don't have any. I mean, if I'm not going to get any listeners on Facebook, why the fuck should I even put it on Facebook? You know. So I mean, they're just. I think I think people are tired of me. That's what I think. You know. So that's me. You think they are? Well, it could be true and it could not be true. Well, there are two options here. <laughs> there, there are two options, and, and you're quite correct. It could be true, or it couldn't be true. So there you go. <laughs> so out of those two options, I've got a 50-50 chance of it being true. That's right. Or a 50% chance of it not being no, no, true. No, no, no. The glasses Thank have... Thank you for giving me the odds. The glasses have... I asked you if people are getting tired of me, the, and I thought glasses, maybe you'd say, no, Alex, they're not the getting tired of you. The glasses half full. What? You, don't, you always look at the glasses half empty. It's half full, Alex. Uh, Isn't it? It's No, it's half empty. No, and I'll a, tell you why. You are the most negative because person I've ever Because when I, when I get... Uh, a glass of uh, uh, I'll put ice in my glass and then I pour my soda in there by the time I get halfway down it's a mixture of uh, water and soda so I don't finish it so when it's half full or half full it, it's not any good so it's half empty but it's half full but the half full part is shit compared to what they the full we didn't top. talk about quality we're just talking about oh, quantity oh, oh, i i see yes I yes see. yes okay it's uh 10 18. well you know and i i i just figure when i die should i be thankful what is that up to 74 degrees for every time i turn the thing on it goes to 74 now i don't want it on 74. what the fuck was that all about because hmm. oh, uh, last night I was in here after the show doing what I do and I turned on the air conditioning in the other room just to kind of like get it cool so I could maybe go watch some stuff and we've had both of them on at the same time but apparently I had one thing on too many like I had a computer on in there or something, something. and all of a sudden I had a blackout here you should leave that door open well wh wh why? Because if the air conditions on in the bedroom and the guest room, it'll cool this place. No, it won't. No, this room gets very hot because of the uh, of the of the equipment. But anyway, um, all of a sudden, boom, blackout. And I've always had that fear that I would get a blackout. You know, I would get the lights to go out at night because it goes off. The fuse blows in the basement. We have a box of fuses, but somehow it says, ah, fuck these, I'm going to the basement. So I went, oh my God, and you know, I'm not gonna call the super at 12.30 in the morning. No, you're not. You know, and there's nobody down there now for me to get down there and work the thing out, because I know exactly where the fuse is. But I would get up and walk out here, and the lights are on and in the rest of the apartment. The fuse in the fuse box, the fuse box actually worked. <laughs> so I know now that if I have too much power in here, what will go is the fuse box. It won't be the fuse in the basement. You don't know. No, well, no. Well, it happened, but it also, oh, excuse me. Oh, really? Am I boring you in this time? So anyway, the lights went out. And then, of course, I had trouble with the connections. People went, hey, how come I can't sign on? Blah, 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 you know, put my show on, you know. 
Shit happens. And then I had uh, Jack Bishop calling me in the morning. He, I can't get, <laughs> get on. And I had solved the problem He's already. challenged, Alex. Oh, he's Jesus. challenged. He, he's horribly challenged. We love you, Jack, but we know you're challenged. He's very challenged. Yeah, we know. Yeah. yeah. He's a special child. The little school bus comes for him every day. Then we have the little the short school. bus. The short bus. <laughs> he, uh, the short computer bus comes. <laughs> No, he gets all all just. Oh, I can't get on. You know, and I'm going. It, it happened today. He couldn't well, get on. Well, you could get on his. And then I checked, and I don't know. There was some problem with this machine at that point. I think when everything blew last night, it didn't exactly reset itself right. Ten twenty one. Can I move over? No. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, let me see. What else is there? So. What am I watching? Am I watching anything good? I just watched the Jim Carrey thing about him being a kid show host. Is that a series? It's a series. Yeah, it's a half hour. And it's done by Michelle Gondry, Gondry who did uh, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and, uh, which was an excellent picture. And it's, it's uh, about a guy who has a kid show. And he's very childish in his mind. That's why he does such a great kid show. But then he has something very adult happen to him. His child gets killed. And one of his twins gets killed. And he doesn't recover. He's, and he's, he's not living with it very well. And it's affecting the show. And the show is a billion dollar a year business. And uh, they're worried about that they're all going to be out of work and the whole business is going to go under because he's not doing too well. You know, he wants to do a show about death. And he said, on a kid's show? <laughs> he says, well, kids have to learn how to deal with death. And he's right. He was yeah. on the Truman Show, remember? He mm -hmm. did the Truman Show. Anyway, it's not a bad show. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll watch another one. Good. And I started watching this Jack Ryan thing they're doing on Amazon. But this is not the new one. This is a new, this is a series. But with Tom Cruise? No. Oh, it's a television series. Yes, with oh. John Krasinski as, as Jack Ryan. Oh. And it starts from the very beginning when Jack Ryan is just a financial analyst. Uh -huh. for the, don't, don't even think of it. <laughs> when I come over. You know, you can start pulling that bit two minutes before <laughs> we have to go to the phone. It's 10 and, and if it's like last night, nobody's going to fucking call. Well, no one wants to talk to old people. That's what, apparently. But well, no, no. I, uh, Jack last night got more callers than I did. You know? And a lot of them are call, people who usually call me and didn't call me last night. Well, they used to call you. They used to call me. They don't want to call me anymore. What was the Trump teddy bear sitting here for? Well, because that was the night last week you didn't come on the show. Right. So I had the Trump teddy bear sitting there. And you talked to him. Well, you know, I said, here's, here's who. Trump. Was and I put the I put the teddy bear there. I'm thinking of keeping it there. And it's not a bad idea. Yeah. That'll relieve me of Friday you don't night. Like, you don't like doing this, do you? I didn't say I didn't like doing it. If you did it a couple hours early. You yeah, I don't like doing it. I do, but, but it's. You know why? It's because late. It, Because you got to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's talk. something that we never do. We very seldom talk, talk to each other. We're very other. seldom in the same room together. Huh? We're very seldom in the same room together. Well, because you're watching your fucking tennis or or some, some like, thingy. See, I'm, doing, I'm working my feet. I'm working my exercises on my feet while I'm doing the show. Oh, boy, master. Okay, it's 1024. My guy told me my, uh, to do, do a, a golf ball. And then roll my feet under it, but over I, it. But I need the cloth because otherwise it would go sliding around. And make a lot of noise and scrape the wood. No, that's not the problem. I've got the bed. Oh, oh, oh really? Oh, look, she's yawning. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Can I come over so now? no. Anyway, so last. This is a favor. So so to the wife that you love. You know, but I do thank Vernon Nunn and. Uh, uh, What's his name? Mr. Ritter. Uh, forget it. I keep wanting to say Tex Ritter. Uh, Chris Ritter for calling. Uh, Last and, night. And, yeah. And, and of course, uh, you know. The regulars. My, the regular. Uh, Kevin and... Uh, uh, oh, and also, uh, um, yeah, uh, Renee called. And they called. Later and had on. So by the end of the show, we had like five people. But then I tune in. And all the people who usually, you know, there's Tim calling. Yeah, Phil called. Phil called. I mean, there are a couple of people that Phil called. There are a couple of people that call Jack. That I'm so glad they called Jack. 
Okay. Uh, one of which you, uh, well, uh, uh, there was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike, who has the, the, his laugh makes me turn oh, off Jack's I show. His laugh makes me turn off Jack's show. It is so, it's such a cancerous laugh. <laughs> and that doesn't mean, yeah. You know, that I can't, I can't I, when he starts laughing, I can't, I can't talk. Well, he doesn't call your show anymore, so what do you talking Yeah, about? no, so I don't have to worry about that. Right. And then there's Steve, who's calling over to his show now. Which one was this Steve? This is the guy who always calls up and says, what's wrong with his life? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so those I don't mind. <laughs> right. You know. Uh, <laughs> what, what Jack probably should have are all the misfits <laughs> you know and, and believe it or not i mean there i are like, a lot I, of misfits I, I like people who have character that's why i like phil i mean as as annoying as you think phil is politically phil is a good character on this show you know and people like uh, like uh, kevin you know great character jeff great character i mean they all have a nice personality but nothing that's annoying like that laugh. That <laughs> if you're listening, Mike, don't laugh anymore on his 1027. show. Ten twenty-seven. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you and me where I got the shot. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you for that. By the way, yeah. Where's the money you were going to give me for the cab ride? Yeah. Well. Well. Right. Well. Right. Yeah. She. I'm at the at the store trying to get my uh, apple. A mini Mac fix, and she says, "You've got to rush down to the they, pharmacy." It was the last shot they were holding it for you. So, 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 so. What was it for? It was for. It was for shingles. Shingles. The yeah, well, second so, shot for so, the same shingles. So I'll get half a shingle problem. You know, half a shingle is better than no shingle at all. You're going to get no shingles. Hmm. It's ten twenty eight. And then it's, we got the, like we, 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 we got the flu shot. Or, or we got the flu shot earlier this year, but they gave us a flu shot, so now we got two shots in our arms. And my, I woke up, my arm was pink. This arm is, it's actually warm and yeah, and, and pink. And, and no, and mine's pink and swollen. Yeah, and pink. Thank you so much for that. I well, really appreciate it. You will avoid the flu I, I'd season. I'd like to say she paid for it, but she didn't have to because it was you covered. Know, covered. Completely by our health. So at least we got the flu shots. Usually by the time we do it, it's like late fall. Well, how, I would rather get them later on because maybe they'll change them when they find out exactly what flus are hitting. They don't do that. You remember that year that the shot just didn't work for anything? They do that every year. They take a guess. Well, they see what's happening in Asia. They see what's happening here. No, what's no? They don't. They go. They find out what's happening. In, all flus start in Asia. And then they come over here. So they in Asia, they keep an eye on that. They say, well, this flu is prominent, and that one's prominent. Okay, and then they make a, a flu shot for it. And that's okay. what it is. Okay, let me say goodnight. Now you, now you want to come over. No, I'm going to say goodnight. You're going to say goodnight? Say Even goodnight. before these people no one's gonna call. No one call in? Can Jeez, I can't, I can't. What? Can oh, oh. Wait a minute. i got to move my golf ball and my Tell. napkin. There we go. Okay, anyway, so you're coming over. Here I'm she is. Over. She's coming over. So let me get rid of... Like um, my hat? What? Let me get rid of this. You got this hat on the street of New York? What, wait a minute. Hold, hold on. What? You got this hat on the street of New York. Yeah? Yeah. You, you should get a little closer to the mic. Well, you got to let me in there, fella. What? You got to let me in there. You can spill well, this. Well, well, geez. I'm trying to accommodate you. Okay. Are, uh, the, are the boards open? Hmm. I haven't even opened up the Skype line yet. Hold on. I've got to open up the Skype line. Uh, I, I've been so out of it all day. I was trying to do the thing with Michael Snyder, and I was just screwing up like crazy. I couldn't get anything right. It was like my mind was farting continually. It's called dementia. Huh? Yeah, it's called dementia. Uh, let's see, online. Okay, now we're online. Uh, by the way, uh, let Call me just in. let me just say something that uh, that uh, Skype has now gone from having that red thing and saying this version of Skype no longer exists. It just says will be discontinued soon. So they've changed their their thing. Oh, hey, look who the first one is hey, calling Vernon. up. 
Yes, it's uh, there. And he, he's there, not there. He is. It's, it's a real him. There he is. He's got the he's got the uh, thing going and everything. Yeah. Oh well. Oops. Let me see here. Hi, Vernon. How you doing tonight? Yeah. Okay. We're doing good. Tired. Nice hats. Is that nice? This is Alex's yeah. hat. Now what did that? What did that? Uh, that. Uh, what did you say? What, what did you send? Uh, that's a general call. CQ. CQ. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you're just saying. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm here. I'm, here. Yeah. I'm on the air. Do I'm it again. That's so neat. Yeah. That's so now, neat. do you remember? Do you remember RKO Pictures? Yes. You remember they used to have yes. Morse code at yeah. the beginning at of the RKO. Yeah, yeah, like they over spell that. Out. Yeah. What they did spell it out. What did it yeah. say? RKO Pictures. Yes, it says an RKO picture. Can you do that? Yes. Really? I think I think I remember that. That's That's about how fast they send it too. So you have to be fairly conversant in Morse code to pick it out. Sure. Uh, Now uh, I know people like yourself do Morse code uh, because you you like it and it's something you learn how to do and it's something you do with other people who know Morse code. But I learned Mor- when I was in high school. Is Morse code used for any practical reason today? No. No. With the advent of uh, satellites and that sort of thing, even uh, the, it used to have to have uh, a radio operator conversing in Morse code on merchant ships. Hmm. But with the advent of satellite communication, that's no longer a requirement. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, so, so nowhere in the in marine communications no. do they use. With, Is with, it required? Right. Yeah, but might it not become helpful when all other kinds of communications go down? Because it doesn't take a lot yes. of transmitting power to get that signal a long way. Am I right about that? That's correct. It's the most efficient form of, of radio communication. Even, mo- even more than voice. Yes. Yeah. The voice takes more power than just sending dots and dashes. Now, but dots and dashes are sounds. It's audio. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's converted to a sound in your receiver. Ah. Now, initially, when you're sending it out over the air, you're just sending pulses of radio waves. Oh, okay. So That's now, in, initially, if I'm not mistaken, initially when uh, Morse code started, it, it went across wires. When yes. It went across the telegraph. country zone. Telegraph. The telegraph. Mm-hmm. And then, when Marconi invented radio, the purpose was really to be able to use telegraphy, right? It was to be able to send uh, messages across the Atlantic Ocean, primarily. But the fact that they could hook a microphone up and people could hear them was a secondary thought. Is that my am I right or wrong on that? It came along later, uh, but the technology hadn't evolved uh, until later on, where they could modulate the signal with the voice. Okay, so it was, but initially it was used for Morse code. Right. Is there any other code beside Morse code? I mean, who invented Morse code? Samuel B. Morse? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and there's no yep. there's no other version of that. No, and what's interesting on ham radio, English is the universal language around the world. All over the globe, if you communicate with somebody in Japan or Russia or China, they all talk in Morse code in English. That's interesting. Really? So, in other words, if you want to be a big Morse code fan and you want to do Morse code with Vernon Nunn in the United States, you've got to be able to speak English. Or at least send it. Or or at (laughs) least send, well, I mean, but don't you have to understand it in order to send it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm going to say good night. Nobody's here to say goodbye to you except for Vernon. Good night, Vernon. Except for Vernon. Good night. Have a good one. Send me a Morse code. It's it's going to be another one of those nights. Is it a fill free night? It looks like it's going to be a fill-free night. I don't see I don't see Phil anywhere nearby. Feel free to call. Um, maybe everybody's gone away for the holiday or something like that. Are you doing anything for Labor Day? Uh, we're Wait going next door. Hold, hold on a second. A cookout. Hold on a second. What? She's out there. She's out there. You want to just bring her ah, in for a second? Ah, the little kitty. Huh? She's laying down. Well, pick her up and bring her in. Let her let her let, let people see the kitty. Ah, uh, they, uh, is she letting you pick her up? 
She doesn't want to be picked up. Oh, look. Here oh. she is. There she is. She's pretty. Minute. Hold on a second. Woo. Yeah, she's a... Yeah. She's a very pretty kitty. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you know, we. Ha I think we have to pay her for that appearance or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, is anybody else going to call tonight? I mean, I like Vernon, and we've got him without it. That one picture of him, which was you smiling all night. Yeah, because that was were, last night. You were using your iPad. Uh, it was a Samsung pad, but uh, a Samsung regardless, pad. whatever. Yeah. What's well, really strange, when I downloaded Skype onto it, it actually shows a camera icon, like I can turn the camera on. But I think the first time I ever tried it, you guys couldn't see me, so I didn't bother last night. Oh, you didn't even give it a try. Well, you could have given it a shot. You know. I could have gone down in a basement where I am now, but uh, yeah. I was being lazy. Yeah. Uh, where do you live again? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Um, because there was a thing in the news... Um, well, I have it over there. I don't want to go get it right now. That, you, you know this thing about uh, net neutrality? Yeah. And broadcasting and net neutrality and the uh, uh, with the uh, Internet. And, you know, everybody should be treated the same way. Uh, nobody should pay a higher price because they're this or that or whatever. And yep. uh, the, the FCC did away with net neutrality. Well, out in California, they've decided to make net neutrality a law in California. Which Interesting. is pretty cool, you know, pretty cool. That's what every other state should do, but I don't think they will. Yeah. Well, I remember I remember something, it, this was earlier this year, we were talking about the NRA, and I think, to, to, I don't know if somebody said this just to get Phil's goat or what, Yeah. but um, it, was, it was a thought yeah. that States and municipalities ought to bring lawsuits against the NRA and just overwhelm them with legal well, cases and, to the point where they won't, they, you know, they'll just have to fold up well, because of bankruptcy. Funny you should mention that because New York did precisely that and launched mm -hmm. such a huge lawsuit that the NRA has said uh, they're going bankrupt. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if, Good if, job. A few other people would do it. Uh, they've been no more NRA. That's the way to stop somebody, you know. Uh, well, you, you heard you heard the the case today about uh, Sam Patton, right? Sam Patton, no. Yeah, he was a Manafort uh, cohort. Yeah. Involved in the Ukrainian uh, political party that was supporting the Russian guy in yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. And he pled guilty to. Uh, S several charges, including uh, lobbying without registering as a foreign agent. And they think that this guy is going to be a key witness in the Manafort trial that's going to start next week in Washington, D.C., about the same issue. Wow. I, yeah. I, I didn't hear about that. Also, the, in, in the pleadings, we discovered that at least two foreign nationals funneled fifty thousand dollars each into the Trump inaugural campaign, which is illegal. They did it through a shell, a shell person. They say that it, it, right now uh, the president can be as quiet as he wants to about this, but the fact of the matter is that they say that all hell is going to break loose next year for him. Yeah. And that he's going to be up to his ass in legal problems. Uh, I agree. Hello, Tom. How are you? We, okay. We, we got a Yamaguchi call now. Yeah. And I Hi, Tom. Hello. I think now everybody's starting to call. It's it, you know it's it, we're on a holiday weekend here, so I can't expect too much. You oh. know. Um, yeah, you were asking what we're doing, uh, gosh, Alex. I'm uh, lost. Our neighbor next door is having a big okay. party. He's going to have a band and. And uh, smoke ribs and all that so oh, kind of wow. stuff. And he's invited us to over, too. Wow. I wish I lived in Louisville. I'd be there. Are you there, <laughs> Tom? What happened to you? Tom's there. Oh, we no. lost him. What happened to Tom? Something happened. We lost him. He'll probably call right no. back. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Good. How are you doing? What are you doing for this uh, holiday weekend? I don't think anything. A little sailing. A little sailing? That would be fun. Well, that's nice. That's very nice. 
Wait a minute. Let's add Tom back into the mix. What happened to you, Tom? Oh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, no, but I mean, no, what, what, why did you get? Why did you leave us? Did, did you have a problem? It, it lost the connection. It just you froze up and gone. So no. it must be something it, slow on my end. Yeah, it must be they don't like us using Skype Classic. <laughs> I'm not using I'm not using Skype the Classic. I'm using the latest version. The, the latest version. What do you think of it? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to do a show with it, though. I have to do a show with it. (laughs) You know, and I like it where there's just a whole bunch of people on the screen at the same time instead of four people on the screen. You know, oh boy, now everybody's calling. Let's see here. Phil is calling and Renee is calling. So there's Phil and Renee is whirling around. Are you going to keep whirling around tonight or are you going to show us the facial peel? No, I've, a snake and I, you won't be able to tell us apart. I am literally peeling off of the top of my body. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, my whole, I'm, so the thing is, is when you peel your face, you're not allowed to pull on it. So you kind of have to walk around with lizard skin until it falls off or you kind of do a gentle rub. So it's no, you're not going to see me. Mm-mm. Really? That chance. Well, at least show us that picture of Trump. It, yeah. I'm hoping that's what's there. It, it, oh, is what's there. it was the, okay, what good. was there. You just turn your camera off, and it should. Uh, if, you, you know, you see it the camera icon, yeah. and if, so if you turn off the camera, that's what should come up. Uh, it should. Phil, can you see it? Yeah, I see your inflated okay. Trump. I don't no, see. No, it's we, my baby Trump. Oh. We don't have the Doesn't baby. We don't. We don't see it here in New York. Well, what the huh. hell? Okay. Uh, I'll, that's well, okay. I'll work on it. So anyway, so you look like a snake. Oh man, my neck. So I, my neck is peeling. My nose is peeling. Now, my can, forehead. Can is you peeling. explain to me because this is this is purely <laughs> it, this is purely female <laughs> ego at work. Why? Well, yes. No. Why did you get a peel? Uh, and why do women? What? I don't. I never. Do you ever hear of guys? All of you yes. uh, getting pills. Yeah, acne. Really? Acne. Yeah, I've, I've heard yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Acne pills. It's people who have really bad acne. It's oh, okay, okay. Well, that's pills. a different story. But you're a, yeah. you're a lovely woman no. with no acne. True, but I played a lot of sports outside when I was younger, and we had no idea that sunscreen was this important. Oh. Because we used to put on who didn't wear Tropicana the oil. I used to wear Tropicana. I used to I used to wear Tropicana the orange juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more yeah. stuff you gotta put on, and we baked in that stuff. Yeah, because Just that stuff was ba- that stuff. You uh, thank you, Vernon. Uh, 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 we used to use that stuff uh, to uh, literally baste ourselves. Yeah. yeah, and it was wrong. Yeah, it was very wrong. Yeah, so. But we we just didn't know. So now I'm just trying to get rid of some of that crap. Yeah, uh, I, I you know I I've gotten some real sunburns from time to time in my life, but they never left any permanent skin damage. Well, well, it, I don't know. You John be the McCain judge, issue folks. That what? Did this right? Huh? But John McCain when we found so I always thought melanoma was a sun issue, and then when John McCain got melanoma on the brain. That's when most of us learn that that is something that could show up anywhere well, in your he, body. That was a glacio. Glasto. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, that was a. Okay, that yeah. wasn't the melanoma. Uh, uh, no, no, it isn't melanoma. Okay. That was glass. Sorry. Uh, glass. I, I'm trying to remember the name of it now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it was melanoma. I apologize. A glass. Harry uh, McGovern's wife died of that. Also. Oh, did she? Yeah, I last year. Forgot what she died. Really. Of. Really? I, so I'm just not going to show up. But I have to catch the weather. It looks like um, the Miriam isn't going to hit us. And with any luck, uh, Herman or whoever the guy is behind it is going to go the same direction. Yeah. So yeah. we we're, we're, should be good for a little while. But hurricane season lasts until the middle of October. So we're not out of the Yeah, but you're, you're the, 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 the advantage you have is that hurricanes go through the Pacific but the mm-hmm. uh, Hawaiian Islands are kind of small. We're it, tiny. You know, so when it, it yeah. when it, it, it those hurricanes are going, they may come nowhere near Hawaii. 
Yeah. But when they happen and in the United States, you go down there, you've got the Bahamas, you've got Puerto Rico, you've got all those mm-hmm. places, you know. Yeah, all crunched in together, and it's a very yeah. small place. So anybody want to talk about how horrific Puerto Rico's numbers are? Well, I mean, uh, what do you mean, my ratings in Puerto Rico? No, thank you very much, folks. That was a... You know, I just, well, I just wonder how many people die normally in Puerto Rico in the same time period. Oh, uh, yeah, but they don't have a hurricane come, and then things fall on them and they die. Okay, well, Phil? Well, I'm sure that there are uh, some that uh, I'm sure due this to the is, hurricane. I, I'm sure. But there are other people that no, die they, just because These they are died. people who died directly as the result of the hurricane. I'm sure all those other people who were going to die anyway died. Yeah, and they get counted, too. That is really a stupid comment, Phil. Hey, I just got my bill from Kaiser for the uh, heart surgery. Oh, here we yeah. go. What yeah. does it look like? Yeah. You didn't Did believe in uh, one, a single pair? Uh, it's $47,678.55. That's kind of cheap to save I your life. I want to know, why don't they just round it off? What, what, why, when they give you a number that large, does the 55 cents seem to matter to them? So well, if I, we gave them 48000 would they have let you just, like, pass out on the table? And Well, uh, I gave them $30 at the time I was admitted. <laughs> and now they're saying that I owe another $95 and 47000 Five hundred and fifty-three fifty-five wow. was uh, my uh, uh, discount from insurance. Wow, that's so. That's, yeah, uh, now, now it's tell everybody. How wait far a minute. Come in heart tell now. everybody. Tell everybody how much you pay for Kaiser every month. Uh, a little over a thousand. Okay, and how long have you had it? Uh, since well, uh, you know, years ago it was a lot cheaper because I was younger. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, and since Obamacare, it went from like three hundred to a thousand. Do you think we're anywhere in the forty-seven thousand range that you've paid over uh, to, to oh, finally get to no. this point where they picked up the tab? No, no, no. You, Jeff paid this for me. <laughs> so, no, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, well, uh, that's what you have insurance for. You know, uh, not everybody who went to this place had a you know had a heart surgery. And, right. You know, this is my second one in in two months. This heart surgery was just for the last one. I I, I never even saw a bill for the uh, oh for that, the previous one. Oh, this is but, for the one you just had. Right. No, it's the one. Oh, I, really? Are you sure this isn't for the, for the one, one? The first one? No, yes, the no, first not, one. no, because they want ninety five dollars in, in addition to the. Forty-seven thousand five hundred fifty-three fifty-five. You know, now, I, can I just? I'm I'm just saying this for sake of argument. Yeah. What difference does that ninety-five dollars make to them? Because it's a forty-seven thousand some odd dollar bill. I mean, if you don't pay that ninety-five dollars, will they sue you? No. Uh, yeah, maybe. What they'll do is turn me over to a collection agency. <laughs> It'll lower my FICO score. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't uh, do that. But I can call them and make payment arrangements. On the $95? On the, yeah. <laughs> I but paid Phil, it. <laughs> but, Phil, may I ask, why is it that you don't think that Vernon should have that same single pair or option to do this? Why is it that any American Why shouldn't should Vernon have, have it? Because yeah, he's, well, he's a Democrat. <laughs> no, I didn't see that coming. Well, I believe in, I believe all citizens should have that, Phil, not just the ones too. who believe well, like like uh, Trump. Yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, do you know what Trump did yesterday or the day before? I don't follow him. What did you Well, know? he negotiated this new deal with the um, uh, uh, Mexico. And what he did was he said he to didn't, Mexico, he didn't negotiate. and this is the smartest he didn't, he thing didn't negotiate. I have ever no seen No deal do. has been negotiated with Mexico. Look, he, he negotiated no, a new deal. No, there's no deal negotiated with Mexico. They have What they've done is they've agreed to sit down and talk about it. Well, this is the deal that he proposed. Oh. He said that he wants Mexico to raise the pay or the income of uh, Mexican workers 
And by doing that, it's a brilliant move because instead of people jumping over the border trying to find a better life, they can have a better life. Well, in their why own doesn't he work a little Good. deal out for Americans? Okay. <laughs> well, that that helps Americans because when you raise. Oh, I uh, see. It, it, I see. Not competing. So if they have, Listen, if they start having really good free health insurance, people, don't you think maybe we're going to go to Mexico? No, that no, was the I whole premise the of NAFTA in the first place, Phil. The yeah. whole purpose NAFTA of NAFTA in the first place was to increase the economy in Mexico because otherwise they were on they, they were teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. Right. And and by, right. by moving those earnings. manufacturing jobs down to Mexico, they improved the economy in Mexico. And since then, the immigration from Mexico to here has actually gone down. It has gone down. But you down. won't acknowledge that. No. You know, no, you won't oil. acknowledge it, but the, the the amount of people coming across the border has gone down, Phil. Yeah, because they're arresting mm -hmm. them. No, not that was before this. Well, hey, they're, you, they're still paying the Mexican workers a lot less than they pay the American workers. So if you can raise but, the... But don't worry, uh, in time we're going to get as low income. as the Mexican workers. Because can, when can you I, talk, when you like talk to... to some, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you talk to somebody sure. like uh, who we were talking to the other night who works at Lowe's, um, no, Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. Oh, oh, it was Vernon. Vernon. Vernon oh, was he at Vernon? When you talk to Vernon, uh, it's not like he's getting those really high big bucks, you know, that you say that, oh, well, Mexico, they, they, they don't pay good money down there. Well, they don't take well, me they pay don't. pretty good money at Home Depot either. Well, well it's about minimum wage anyway. Yeah. yeah if he stood outside at, at the curb, he, he'd make $20 an hour cash. We'd pay him for his white legs. Is that what you're saying? He no, that's, that's, what, that's <laughs> what it costs. If you hire, uh, you know, one of the workers that stands out That'd in front of... about 20 bucks an hour. Do you, right. Do you, have, Me do you, do you have do you have Mexican or illegals uh, standing out in front of Home Depot at where you work? No. Uh, what? No. Uh, that's yeah, a California I, thing. They do, they do in the... Uh, I know, they do in... Uh, they do close in, to me. Yeah, I know. Uh, in Marin, so, as you come off the, uh, the highway... There's a whole so people there, and they're talk always about there. The fact like crazy. that Trump actually walked into another country and said, "We want you to pay your people more, and I don't care what your budget is." I think it's a great idea. Right, that's going to work. It's out. a great idea to ask, because no, nothing, if they don't it's do a great anything, idea that if uh, if they lower their tariffs, yeah, uh, and and this is what the president of Mexico has agreed to do. Mm -hmm. If they uh, eliminate the tariffs, and therefore we eliminate the tariffs on them, it opens up true free trade. If their workers are being paid reasonable money so that they don't have to escape over a wall and break their legs to, 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 to jump over a wall to get a job, uh, and they have gainful employment in their own country, uh, it's 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 good for everyone. Dream on. But Trump didn't create that, Phil. That's been going on for over a decade. Well, then why did the president of Mexico agree to these things just the other day? Because he's not going it's to be president. It's the same thing as NAFTA. They just called it something by, else. By the way, is this the president of That's Mexico all. who isn't going to be the president of Mexico in a couple of months? Yes. You betcha. That Boy, that's the, guy, that's, that's the guy to make a deal with. That's a guy to make the deal with. You know. Yeah, well, uh, they're trying to stick. push it through. Yeah, they're trying to push it through so that it does stick. Yeah, is this going to go as well as that North Korea deal went? No, it's going to go as North well Korea as the deal. Time. North Korea deal will, uh, you know, there's always ups and downs. And uh, Oh, really? So, then how come uh, the president has pretty well given up on it? He hasn't given up. He just said that he was not sending Pompeo uh, to uh And, and to why, why, and why was point. that? Because the Korea is not negotiating in good faith. Oh well, then how's that Korea thing going for him? But you start with a conversation, and eventually you arrive at an agreement. All right. That is wow. substantial. So basically, we were exactly where we are when President Obama was in office. No, no, got where, nowhere. It was just Renee, a lot of show. When President Obama was in office, they he was setting off atomic bombs. And he was doing underground experiments, and uh, there was a. How do you know? There was. Wait, how do you know huh? he's not doing him now? 
Yeah, well, because good. that's the USGS can figure out when those things happen. You know, you are so naive. He, they, <laughs> even even the administration is admitting that the Korea talks were futile. Oh, I don't think they're. Uh, you know, it, you don't think. Yes, you, I, wait a minute. You don't wait, think. You don't think Obama well, had talked. You don't News think Network. that. No, you don't. Uh, you don't think that I don't watch a gun-toting spy. It, no, do, you don't think that, uh, uh, that they had talks with North Korea when Obama was president. Uh, when Obama was president, I I'm not sure if they did. Yes, they I don't did. Think so. Yes, they did. And did, you don't think they had? You don't think they had the talks with the American soldiers? You, you don't. You don't. <laughs> he brought somehow. This is that is a gesture that happens almost every time. It, and they only trickle them out, which is why it's so amazingly painful. So each, every time they are, when they come to the table a couple of times, then they ag come to an agreement to release some of the bones, and then it, then they release the bones. But they won't just give it to it all at once, which is what it should be. There was quite a number of uh, of containers. Yeah, of, yeah, uh, but how, how many bodies? How many bodies do they have? Well, they're yeah, still working sure. on that. They were working yeah, on the either. DNA and... Uh, no, they're working uh, on the DNA here. They're not working on yeah. the DNA in Korea, North Korea. Of course not. How many in bodies... Korea, they how can't even spell DNA. How many... Oh, Ooh. I did not say that, Kim Jong-un. I did not say that. <laughs> if you're listening, I did not say that. <laughs> what are you afraid of? But, I'm afraid of Putin. I'm freaking afraid of Putin. Yeah. I don't give a shit about our idiot in office, but I'm scared shitless of Putin. I heard he's giving us a discount on our voting machines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, Ray. How are you? I'm all right. How you doing? Yeah. What's up? Mm. Just got on. Getting ready. What, what are you eating? I am eating... Um, I am eating... Got pita chips. Uh, Stacy's pita chips, yeah. With wow. some Costco guacamole. Oh, well, qua mm. uh, the guacamole at Costco isn't bad. No, it isn't. You know? Hey, have uh, we heard cheap. from Kevin yet? Uh, yeah, Kevin's there. He's here. He's here. Yeah, uh, he's oh, hello. up there. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. go, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, there. I forgot to ask. Yeah, the, yeah, this is the right. aftermath. I got I, stuck. As you remember, last night, well, ladies and stuck. gentlemen, he was cleansing himself out for an, uh, 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 a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy. colonoscopy. How did it go? And he did. Yeah. He drank some of it on air. Yeah. And it took a good hour for it to pass. So that was a, yeah. probably a good thing. Yeah. yeah. We had a really, really shitty hour, show uh, last night. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, an hour and one minute was it, Renee? Yeah. Yeah, an hour and one minute. So that was pretty impressive, considering how much liquid you were. Uh, no, that's going what, I'll tell you. That's about right. I, I, I think when I take that magnesium citrate, and then it just sits there. All of a sudden, you go, "This isn't working. Nothing's happening." And then all of a sudden, you go, "I got to go to the bathroom right and now." I, and then I had to get up at two thirty in the morning and do it again. And holy crap, it was right on the money. <laughs> Uh, it happened I wonder almost if I give my dog that if he if she'd be a little more regular. You know, I yeah. walked her this morning, got a nice poop. Uh, I came home from work, no poop. Uh, no. Uh, you don't want to give it to your dog. Your dog will shoot down the street at about three <laughs> times more faster than you will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so anyway, you went in for the colonoscopy. They they put you out, right? Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Yeah. They, they they got me in there and then the, you know they roll you over and, and and Abdul comes up and tells me he's gonna put me asleep. Yeah. And he rolls me over and he says, Oh no no it's, it's okay. She's just gonna do the he's just gonna do exam, you know, and I'm seeing the doctor walks in behind me and I'm hearing and feeling this and all of a sudden I get this boom broomstick and I'm going, What the hell? He's oh it's just gonna do an exam and next thing I know I'm gone. Oh you're out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, started, he started just a hair too early, as far as yeah, I'm yeah. I was just thinking uh, no. They, about that. Usually, I, they yeah. wait till you're yeah, out. I said uh, you're aiming just a little bit too early, there, buddy. Now, yeah. are you a, a Kaiser child, it. or do you go? No, to I'm not a Kaiser like... child. I'm a okay. PPO so, guy. so, so anyway, yeah. so you go out, and the next thing you know, you wake up. Right? It's like somebody yeah, edited. Yeah, it, was, it was great going out. 
but then you wake up and you know, like you said, forty five minutes, fifty minutes later, you're you're going, okay, where's my cigarette? Oh, where's where, <laughs> where's that? Where's that forty five minutes that they just yeah, edited they found, out of my life? They found one uh, polyp there, so they had to yank it out. Yeah, was it white, was it any lab. any questionable? Polyp or just... Yeah, they're sent it to the lab, so I gotta wait to find out what the deal is. Yeah. So my my doctor said and Marty's doctor said that I'm pretty in pink inside, it, and so that did they give you a clean bill of health after removing the polyp? No, not yet. Well, one polyp is not bad, and they no. always they always send what they call precancerous polyps out just to be safe. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. time I've had it, I've had uh, five or six pre polyps? precancerous polyps. Precancerous. Yeah. And it's, I've had it three times. But yeah. the fact Every that they time. got it out, I mean, I, I said to my doctor, I said, now now that you got it, uh, what happens? How fast will it grow back? He says, if uh, we got it, he said, uh, well, if, if we got them, if they start growing back starting tomorrow, it'll be five years before you even have to worry about it. You know, yeah, well, it's been 11 to... years, and I think they found one back then. They said they found a small one or something. So yeah, it's 11 well, years. Yeah, Ray, how long does it take years to grow? Well, they, I have to go in every three years. Whoa! Well, because they found when they find every, them, yeah, usually they, they probably them, they probably ask they'll probably ask so Kevin there's, to there's come back. So there's benign, there's precancerous, and there's cancerous. So mine oh. are the, the precancerous. Yeah. What did they and say about yours? Of... Did they say it was precancerous, or did they say it was benign, or what? Uh, Mine? Yeah. I have to Just wait send it off. Lab, they don't know for like yeah. two weeks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Send it off to the left. So, Ray, you how many times have you drink it and had to drink that concoction? Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the people listening, the way this normally works with like Kevin just did. By the way, welcome went, to Alex's waiting room again. Ding so, dong. <laughs> you, you, you. You actually get it done, and the worst part of getting it done is drinking the stuff, and then you don't have to go back for a long time. So this thing with Ray, unfortunately, so why we still cringe, we have like four or five or eight years of not going back, but poor Ray is doing this every, uh, yeah, oh boy, every three yeah. years. Every I wonder years. why. I wonder <laughs> why I have to do the cleanse before I see my dentist. <laughs> because you shit, you, because you shit, you, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, that's uh, it, the thing thing. is, the thing is that uh, went to Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser. yeah, Kaiser. But I think, I think you know, it sounds like you're in pretty good. You know, it, I wouldn't worry about it, Kevin. I think you're probably okay. You know. Hey yeah, Vernon, have you done one? I've done What's four. That? You've done You've four. Done four. <laughs> I've done four. Well, because you oh. probably had polyps and wanted you back in three years, right? Right. Yeah. But the last time, the last time they only found two, so they're giving me a five-year reprieve this time. Oh, nice. oh really? So yeah. Ray, if you do better, you don't have to have things stuck up your ass. Now I asked the <laughs> Kaiser on it. for for uh, the uh, colonoscopy, and they told me I had to wait till I was sixty-five. That's, really? That's bullshit. Yeah. It's just that's bullshit. Kaiser. I don't think that's true. That's Kaiser fucking bullshit. That's why yeah. it, it, Larry Brown refers to them as doctor-assisted suicide. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't yeah, remember being that told shitty that. Shitty socialized medicine. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was. So, I'll tell you, forty-seven thousand dollars for that operation. Uh, it was. It was. Believe it or not, it was the first experiment in socialized medicine in this country. When Henry J. Kaiser started it for his employees, and then later expanded it to other people, and I was a I was a Kaiser kid, you know, and that when it first started, and it was a great thing, um, and uh, you know, socialized medicine is great, but you know, we can't we can't make Phil believe that. I was born in Kaiser too. Yeah, my yeah. wife grew up on it, and she went through the whole thing, and then when uh, when uh, she got laid off her job. They didn't offer it anymore, and she went into my my insurance with Blue Cross, and she was just lost. She had no clue. What is this EOB stuff? You know, she had no yeah. clue. She was just used to going in, paying, and being done and, with it. And what's yeah. this twenty percent stuff? Yeah, yeah. What's the twenty percent crap? Yeah. Well, you know, that's the problem. That's the problem that I have with uh, with Medicare, is that. It only covers 80%. Mm-hmm. And I just wonder why it doesn't pay 100%. I mean, wh- what is this 80% crap? Because let's say, 
fill you as an example. Let's say you don't have a supplemental, you have Medicare. On that forty-nine thousand dollars, what's what's twenty percent of forty-nine thousand dollars? Eight nine eight nine grand. Eight eight and probably more closer to nine grand. You'd yeah. have to pay nine grand out of your pocket, even though Medicare picked up eighty yeah. percent. So you have to then have supplemental, and supplemental except at Kaiser. Except the Kaiser. Right, because yeah. Kaiser has some sort of thing. You, you, you do your Medicare, and then the Kaiser thing is called a silver something plan, and yeah. it, it's very inexpensive. Silver sneakers or something? I'm Just not quite sure. Pay yeah. your 250 or whatever, and you're done. Not, uh, no, it's, uh, it's like 99 Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, but you know, what they, you know what nobody mentions about Medicare? When everybody goes, oh, Medicare, yeah, these people are getting free medicine and whatever. You know where they get the money for Medicare, don't you? From the Russians? No. Payroll taxes. Well, forget yeah. about yeah. that. That's part of it. That's part of yeah. it. Yeah, big time. No, your not big time. It comes, it comes out yeah. of it comes out of so it's added onto your social security or whatever. But they take out a hundred dollars a month out of my social security to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred and thirty. One hundred and thirty is it? One thirty four. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's not like it should be, hey, old fella, you reach 65, let us take care of you now 100%, and you don't even have to pay any money towards it. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it, what is this? I just don't understand why in America we consider good health and medicine a luxury. It they shouldn't be a to it shouldn't be, to be no it shouldn't be a luxury it should be a right. Well, they're co trying to co uh, convince you to be healthy. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, but some people come down with stuff no matter how healthy they are. I'm sure Jeff didn't sit around saying, "Well, I'm really going to just uh, fuck up my body enough so I have a heart problem." <laughs> T tell him, Jeff. Get him straight on this deal. Hell, I avoided doctors like the plague. I, look, I've had many, multiple, multiple surgeries, and and none of them were done just for the fun of it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, and it's yeah. not because you let yourself go or anything like that, no, right? It was survival stuff. Hey, yeah. the last two things, uh, you know, I had was due to a bad diet and uh, yeah. poor health. And, you but, know. but 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 now look but, at Ray. We're going to use Ray as an example. Ray was a marathoner. Ray probably ate really well, and Ray just walks in every couple of years, and his body just produces polyps, and it's not right or wrong. We just have to watch it. Ray, was it hereditary? Uh, did your parent, did I, your father? I don't huh? think so. I think I'm like the first, but I, I'm I feel you're, you're, you're diverting I from eat, what you s I eat better, yeah. I exercise more than anybody in my family, except my brother, maybe. But you're so diverting. His body Phil, just does that. Yeah, but Phil. So why can't yeah. he have access to health care? Because this is what his body does. No health care for Ray. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> the point is, <laughs> Phil, works. the point is, and also there's one other factor here. That if you oh, don't so have, uh, if you right. don't have a way of people being able to pay for their health care, and single payer would be that way, people just don't go to their doctors when something's mm -hmm. wrong. And so something mm -hmm. which could have been prevented early on because you caught it early, you're not going to catch any early any longer. Would you agree with me, okay. Tom, on that one? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the idea is. Uh, uh, the other part of it is that people end up getting so sick they end up going to the emergency room where it's even more costly. So I just keep telling people, you know, it's the old it's the old cliche of uh, petty wise and pound foolish. Yeah. When you look at it, single payer is the conservative position, and more and more conservatives are realizing that you know the most efficient way of having and actually what they want to do is they call it Medicare for all. It's it it sort of tests well. But that is the most efficient system that we can have. Well, let, let's add one other factor here, and that is that people who, uh, uh, who if you were going to give people single-payer, what you make as a 
uh, as an important part of this process is that they have to go in for constant testing for various things, like colonoscopies at a certain age. In other words, you have to maintain your medical profile, otherwise you don't get the single payer, so that the government at least can say, hey, we're, we're making sure these people are healthy. You know, we're making sure these people, we're doing a lot of preventative medicine, we're doing a lot of stuff which is gonna catch stuff early. Yes, Phil? Alex, is the VA a single payer, basically? I think it's no payer. I think it's single right, payer. Right, but yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's yeah. basically single payer. Actually, how, how actually, well is, actually Phil, correction. Yeah. Actually, the VA is a, is socialized medicine. Right, exactly. Yeah. Because the government how, is provi yeah, as opposed to government provided health right. insurance, well, my, the government is actually providing the health services. My follow up is how well is the VA doing at dispensing these what, services? What does that have to do with it, Phil? It means yeah, that the not, government. No, because is what you're doing is you're comparing. Up. You're oh, comparing. Actually, you're, what he, so listen, listen to Tom. I, what he's I, saying. I have a friend that uh, gets the medical services of the VA. He's a veteran. He loves it. He's getting he's, very good treatment. He's, 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 he's one out of many. But, but, but also, you're no, comparing. You're comparing. If you're going to give, you know. Ask, you know, you know, just come up with with. I could probably find more people that are happy. The VA, more. but the, I, I am. I understand, but the, why? The, why the, is because the uh, VA is a hospital system, not an insurance system. What we're talking about with single payer is that when you go to the hospital, the government pays your bill. You can go to any hospital you want to. You can go to any doctor you want to, but they pay your bill. At the VA, you have to go to the VA and deal with the VA hospital and. That happens to be governmentally run, which in this country, we don't know how to do that kind of stuff. Right. So why would we put our health care in the hands of government? No, we're not saying put the health care in the hands of government. We're saying have the government pay for your health care. Can I say something about Do you the get VA? the difference, Phil? <sighs> no. Well, then, then you're, does everybody else get what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's Ray equating them. My father, Ray can I say? Talk. Yeah. You, you, and then okay. Jeff. My okay. my father uses the VA, the health benefits extensively, and they're they're excellent. Um, yeah, you're in Palo Alto. You're in. One of the he's not in Palo. Palo. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Where is he? Well, actually, you're right. He does come down to Palo Alto, and the hospital is in Palo Alto. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the better better VAs because I, I know somebody that has is up in the Reading area, and he complains about it all the time. So I think oh. it depends on the area. Okay, well, all medicine sucks up there. I was just up yeah. there. My wife had a kidney infection, and the, the nurse said, leave here as soon as possible and go home because That's, the hospitals here are terrible. That's true because he even goes outside the system, and he still gets jacked around. And a lot of people who live up there come down here for their medical if they can That's afford right. it. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Is he it doesn't matter that, what system. Is he getting that new credit card where he can go wherever he wants to if he's not getting the treatment yes. that he needs? Yeah, I, how's that I work? I'm sure if everyone else got my neighbor it, over here, my neighbor over here that goes to Monterey has that card. Yeah, my dad must have it too. I think yeah. I, I think I can go to a VA hospital too. I think anybody who who was in the service, yeah, can, uh, can go to a you VA were, hospital. You were honorably discharged, so yeah, you have those benefits. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah, and if you're out of the area, you can get a card that tells them you're out of the area, and you can go to a regular yeah. doctor, and they'll cover it. Yeah. And you might even be able to, Alex, refinance your wife's uh, condo at a much lower rate. I get a VA. She already uh, has uh, it at a very low rate. Oh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I, you might want to check into it and see if you can she, use your Well, she refinanced it, and she's only, guys, she only owes about 20000 on it now. Oh. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the point the point is that... that uh, um, it would just be nice if Medicare would take care of everything. No, it, it would you know. be nice if the Republicans would get the hell out of our way so that the people in the United States can stop talking about health care and start going to well, see what's their wrong, doctor. What's wrong, what's wrong with wanting Americans to be healthy? What's wrong with wanting Americans to get the medical care they need and the children to get the medical care they need? People yep, are staying. It, people don't go to doctors because they the, of the cost of going to the doctor. Even if they have insurance, the co-pays today are you know 
Some people can't go I the know. co-pays. Some people can't go the insurance cost these days. Let's and just take care. Let's what, just make Americans healthy, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, we may as well be living in Mexico. Make I wonder, America I wonder, great I wonder, again. I wonder how they can write off forty-seven thousand five hundred and fifty-three dollars and fifty-five cents. Is it because maybe I'm a stiff, and they figure they'll never collect it? <laughs> no, you know, you know what? what? That's you know. I was just gonna say because <clears throat> I had to go get an MRI last week for yeah. my back, Ooh. and just for the hell of it, I called them to see how much it was gonna cost or what they were gonna. Because I wanted to kind of figure out where I was gonna go. Somebody told me it was expensive where I was going, mm -hmm. yeah. and I was gonna try and work a way to to go to a different place to get it done. But it ended up being too too late. But I called them and asked them what it was going to cost to do a, a lower spine and an upper spine MRI at this hospital, which I won't mention. It's right in town here. $7,140 for the lower and $7,140 for the upper. That's what they were going to charge the insurance company. That's $14,000 yeah, for a but freaking MRI. They, I know. That's, and then they go in and they write it off this much and they... It, it, they what? contract out and they go through all that bullshit. Okay, but here's what here, 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 here's what the big yeah. problem is. Maybe it should have just been. Will you listen to me, Phil? Can, Phil That's right. Phil, it can been I say something? Two hundred dollars, uh, Phil. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, to begin with, here's what happens: the insurance companies pay a different rate than you do. Okay, yeah. it's like the insurance companies get a gr very big discount. All right. So if you go be. in, wait a minute. Let me finish, Phil, please. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but, when when you go into a when you go into a doctor and the doctor charges you so much uh, for his services and you say I don't have insurance, they say okay, well it's going to be four hundred dollars for the visit. So you pay that four hundred. If you had, if an insurance company said, oh wait a minute, we got to pay off this bill for this guy for four hundred dollars, and they go. Well, uh, we're only going to give you seventy-five dollars. Uh, they say well, we'll take it, right? So if you right. don't have insurance, you're going to pay retail. If right. you're if you have insurance, you're paying wholesale. Well, why don't why are yeah. they playing this game? Why don't you just take the seventy-five dollars anyway? To, because it's the honest because thing to do. Because they don't do yeah. it. Just toss that's, smack him around, will you? Yeah, that's he's what American in corporations are greedy, Phil. Just, yeah, but they just, never. They never that's get that money. To do, that's what caused me to do this in the first place. Because a friend of mine said, "You can go up to San Jose and get that done for two hundred bucks," and then she had insurance, and she said, "I ended up paying it out of my pocket because it was less than the damn deductible." Wow. She just went up there, and they, you know, if you're an insurance company, they've got one schedule of fees, and if you're going in there and saying, "I want an MRI," you got another schedule of fees. Well, let me let me let me let me get drive through MRI place. Probably, yeah. Right. yeah right. But what the hell? It's the same goddamn thing, right? It's not as yeah. claustrophobic though. Uh, uh, that sucker! That car. sucker! I, you know what? I went into that thing just like you did. Uh -huh. and I told him to pull me out right away. That was the first time I had to get yanked out. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. tough. I, it's I, I, I'd have to have an open MRI. I could not yeah, do that. No, it was difficult. this one was closed and it was like putting it was like shoving me into a sausage with a freaking <laughs> yeah. plunger, man. Yeah. yeah. And I told him pull it me out. It is tough. I had to get all twisted around to get comfortable. I mean, my wife thing. just I, falls asleep in there. It was an hour yeah. and a half in the damn thing. Wow. I I, I never get uh, claustrophobic in those things. It's uh, you know, it feels like you're just pulling the covers over your head. Yeah, yeah. well, I was I'm not, you know, I'm like I'm triple extra large petite. But uh, and then they shove me into that damn hole. It's like, and then they put the pads around you, and I, they shove me oh. in there, and I was getting jerked around in there. And then they said, "Okay, stop." And I was right in the middle of it. And I said, "Yank me out, buddy, because this ain't gonna cut it. This isn't gonna cut it." Yeah, uh, it, it, it's your, you know. But the point is, is that you have to pay a whole retail if you don't have insurance. Yeah, but uh, most uh, of those people don't pay their bill anyway, and it gets written no, off. No, that's not true. See, Phil, if they had doctors, they wouldn't do what Tom talked about. They wouldn't run over to the ER. It wouldn't cost an arm and a leg. And then when you get your bill, you wouldn't be sucking it up for the people who went into the ER because it showed on your but, reflected. But on Renee, your bill. a lot of people that go to the ER 
end up the county ends up picking up that tab. Do you think the county is paying the full retail price? Well, no, we've got a, the reason all these problems Stop. exist, Phil, is because we don't have single payer. Okay, no, and the government, the government, well, no, the government has the don't have insurance. The government has money, has money to take care of every American. Look, if the Brits had enough money to take care of every Brit, I don't know why we don't have enough money to take care of every American. Well, we're, we're giving it out. away to the rich people. And to thank the, you, the, Vernon. Yes, exactly, exactly. So well, yeah, they're not giving it to me, and uh, well, I'm not rich. Oh, it's not rich the head of Blue there. Cross. It's the head of Aetna. It's the head of every other insurance company. It's the Betty DeVos's. Uh, but, but why yeah. we can't get the simple concept that we we're, a, we, you, know, we don't ha, you know, we don't have in this country. Let me try and give a decent pleading of it. We don't have the mentality in this country that we give a good goddamn about each other. You know mm -hmm. that 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 we are we want every American to be healthy. We don't want people who are sick to go without uh, medical care. That everybody deserves medical care as a right, but also because you're a fellow American and we want to take care of you. We want to make sure you're healthy because if you're healthy, that adds to the health of the country. We you know we have a very sick country here because a lot of people don't have insurance so they don't go to doctors so all they do is they get sick and by the time they're so sick that they have to see a doctor it's too late now this is spoken by a man without a car because if you had a well, car what does that have you'd to understand do with what we're that talking we have to about? call the society so that there's more parking spaces you know why is it when, why is it when you don't have an argument for something you have to make a joke about it to try and That's divert true. it no, you know, I mean, why can't we just care about each other? We don't give a shit do. about is each there other. Anybody the reason that's there's health, the reason care. there's the reason there's socialized medicine in uh, in uh, single payer in England, uh, national health they call it, is mm -hmm. they created national health right after World War II because after being bombed to a fairly well, they said we got to give ourselves a present, and the present they gave themselves was medical for everybody. Yes, Tom. Do you agree with that, Tom? I'm right about that. That's how it happened yeah, in England. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Vernon wants to say something. Yes, Vernon. Yeah, one thing that gets overlooked about single payer is that if this country were to adopt single payer like they have in Canada, you wouldn't have to pay extra premiums on your car insurance. You wouldn't have to pay extra premiums on your homeowner's insurance because if somebody gets hurt, they're taken care of by single payer. So you don't have to pay extra insurance for your car and for your home. So oh, you mean man, if somebody that's gets a good hurt idea. on your if somebody gets hurt on your property, Vernon, in Canada, they can't sue you for uh they would, well, why would they? Would have health care? You, you, you can sue anyway if you have single payer if you can prove negligence. But why else would you sue somebody unless you thought they were negligent? Everybody's negligent in this country. You know, it's uh, it's a sue happy country. You know, are you think we're going to get rid of the attorneys? The only way you're going to get something like that is if you put all the attorneys, uh, you know, in a in a pool and filled it up with well, water. I'll give you a good another example. You you it. were talking about the high prices of stuff. Uh, in, in, in pharmaceuticals, uh, any pharmaceutical you buy has a pretty high price. Yeah. And yet, when you finally go through your insurance company, the I have things, I wish I had one here, in which they list on there, you saved this much by having Express Scripts, okay? And like for uh, the Cialis, it's something like $1,500 that I saved. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know? Hey. So, wait a minute. So how, how come I only have to pay like, like uh, well, every three months, $125 for the Cialis, which is way lower than I had to pay when I went every month to the other uh, pharmacy. I had to pay 75 a month. How come all, all of a sudden that's that, who, well, who absorbs that money? Well, who absorbs it is the pharmaceutical company because they want to do business with Express Scripts, which happens to be the largest pharmaceutical insurer in the country. I understand Trump called out uh, Pfizer and uh, Novaris uh, about their high prices, uh, and uh, 
it was during a rally. He he said that he called these guys out and told them to lower their prices. And that, they oh uh, yeah, I see. Much. And they did, didn't they? Yeah. I think they did. No, yeah. they didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, they did. Are you kidding me? Yeah. A pharmaceutical company lowering their prices? I don't think so, Phil. Just because our president said so. I think that's when that's, they turned the channel. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. He he went into Mexico telling them that they need to pay his their people more, whether he's going to give them money or not. Now he's going over to to other CEOs of corporations and telling them what to do and. They're just like we're real CEOs. He, he lives with this. You know what he? You, you know, know what, what you Renee? Know Renee? What he lives with is the myth that if he asks somebody to do something, they're going to jump to it because he's the president <laughs> of the United States. Now, do, do you think that these companies are charging too much? Why in Canada, or uh, can you go across the border and get these same drugs for less money? Uh, you know, it, is it tax? Because, uh, is are they charging us unfairly because they do the research here? Yes, they're charging yeah. us unfairly. Though they can't, they can't have Canada mm -hmm. as a uh, as a country that uses their pharmaceuticals if they don't give them a good price because they negotiate for the entire country. Do you mm -hmm. know that right now, for instance, as an example, you have on uh, Medicare, you have the uh, uh, Medicare Part D, which is the drug part of of no uh, negotiation, Medicare. right? Because they were not allowed to negotiate. If they were allowed to negotiate, you know how much those prices would come down? Because when they're going to do business with all those people, they want that business. So right. well, the, well, the fact that they can't that? negotiate George, means that, you know. George Bush. Huh? Yeah, think a Republican. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there was something else George Bush did during his administration, or tried to do yeah. during his administration. He wanted to uh, put the ports of the of this country in the hands of the Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess there was a big uproar yeah, uh, yeah. At, during that time, and they wouldn't let him do it. By the way, uh, uh, speaking of people... Talking about uh, Chinese? Uh, no. Well, the, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that would be a racist way of putting it, Phil. Um, uh, here's the Keenan, ladies and gentlemen, who we first met in Thailand. And now yes. he's back in California. Yep, finally. In, a, in exotic, <laughs> what, San Bruno, someplace like that? Uh, he's in Oakland. Uh, Oakland. Oakland. Oh, uh, exotic Oakland. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where do you live in Oakland? What part of Oakland? Um, Adams Point. Oh, Adams, Adams Point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I used to live in Rockridge. Rock Ridge. Tom, Where's Adams Point. My daughter lives there. It's it's, uh, oh, really? it's uh, on the uh, uh, MacArthur the area oh. uh, oh, near the okay. lake. Isn't it amazing? Oh, okay. uh, I don't get this, but Tom is in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin's in the Bay in Area. North Russ North is lake. in. Uh, uh, Phil is in the uh, in the North, uh, that was in, in 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 the Bay Area. Ray is in the Bay Area, and Keenan's in the Bay Area. Now, why do we have that many Bay Area people? Well, Vernon's holding up the South. <laughs> and and you were in the Bay Alabama. Area. You're from the Bay Area, Renee. So. Well, I was born because and raised in Washington, from... D.C. Yeah. I think Vernon's from Kentucky, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Vernon's, the, Vernon the is now. the only, and Jeff are the only ones here that are not, haven't been Bay Area residents. Wow, just, I guess we knew you. From I don't know that. Yeah, nobody yeah. else gives a shit about me. Yeah. Oh, oh no, we're whining again. You never, you, you you never listened to me on radio, did you, Keenan, or did you? Yes, I did. See? Since uh, <laughs> when I was a little kid. He's the same oh. age as me almost. <laughs> When he was a zygote. Well, now I'm sorry I asked. You know. <laughs> when you were a little kid. That's bullshit. Didn't your grandfather listen to him? Perfect. <laughs> when he was back in China. <laughs> he heard you through his mother's uterus. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing that's scary about that statement is tell him how old you are, Keenan. Uh, 50, I'll be 55 next week. Yeah, Dude, so he asshole. He, he, yeah. he, he listened to me as a he kid. Like he's 25. I know. As a well, I got a haircut. Kid. That's why. <laughs> I did too, but I still look 60. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Chinese food I eat. There you go. I gotta start eating Chinese food. Uh, all, I, all I know is I knew I was <laughs> getting old the day Chinese. the day I was uh, the day I came on to a woman, and uh, she said, "Hey, uh, are are you married?" And I went, no, I'm not married. And she says, well, I have this mother at home. Oh. And I knew then that the age thing was. 
Yeah. Brutal. Tides are turned, huh? Yeah. Just brutal. Yeah. The worst one was for me. I was up in the foothills and I had my son when he was a baby in my arms, and the girl at the gas station says, "Oh, how old's your grandson?" <laughs> and I was like, "I think he's 15." I was I was just over 40 years old. <laughs> Jeez, almighty. <laughs> well, that's because they're all yeah, hillbillies. Well, there. I won't tell Only you in America. Know. Only in America, Ray. <laughs> ah, yeah. I won't tell you what I got when I go pick up my daughter at elementary school. So oh, yeah, you must get carded. Especially with the beard. Yeah. <laughs> what do you get? I sit on the bus and go, look at Santa Claus waiting for everything over there. <laughs> <laughs> do they think Well, you bring that on yourself, though. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, how, you're kids are your own fault. Uh, uh, my daughter you, leads it on, too. <laughs> do your kids take any crap for uh, Santa? You know? Yeah. Yeah, they do? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's just bad. my daughter, really. You know. Yeah. My other kids are old enough. They're hey, gone. listen. If he didn't have that beard, we wouldn't recognize him. Oh, you should shave it off one night. Just oh, so yeah, just we... for the hell of it. He can ruin his entire <laughs> December <laughs> career. His career. Yeah, I was five say, years to grow that beard. You, you got to wait until after December. Kevin yeah, said exactly. that he looks a lot younger without the beard. Kevin, do you have a picture of yourself, a, a sand beard? Uh, yeah, I got one somewhere. I'd have to find it. How long have you had the beard? Uh, I've always had a goatee. That's the same question, shaved. by the way, that was often asked of Kevin Spacey. How long have you had the beard? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> No more. I've always, I it's never shaved out. my upper lip. Never shaved this. Yeah, yeah. I've always he's, had a goatee, and then when I got laid off, I just let it go. Hey, listen. Once we, I couldn't find a job, I said, screw it. I've got a couple items here I wanted to bring up. I, You know, after all, I did prep for the show tonight. <gasps> and, oh. and Kevin prepped for his show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like Los <laughs> Angeles. Um, yeah, I was on TV this morning, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, who, who you know was accused of, you know, Whatever. By Who's that? Morgan Kevin, Freeman. Morgan oh, okay. Freeman uh, has been given his series back, which is the story of God. Uh, Nat Geo said uh, through production, uh, the production on critically came series, the, uh, the story of God, the story of us. We have valued a longstanding relationship with Morgan Freeman. When we learned of recent allegations surrounding Mr. Freeman, completely unrelated to our work with him as a precaution we paused production for our new season in order to complete a thorough investigation they say after the thorough investigation they found that at no time during his uh, tenure with nat geo uh, have any of these allegations been made all right and they're giving him his work his job back good for them you heard what they said though they said at no time that that he that Morgan Friedman During. was working for them. Yeah, that's what that's what they said. But they, that's the only thing they have knowledge of. You know, they can't go out and do an investigation of other situations. Uh, they don't have the right to do that. But they do have the right to do it within their own company. And if he didn't do it on their dime, uh, you know, they can't say, hey, you know, we're getting rid of him. But if he was if he if he acted improperly towards his crew or his staff or whatever, while they were doing work with him then they would have the right to to say goodbye so it's a very honest determination okay another news item this one will be a happy uh, uh, disneyland is about to introduce alcohol Jeez. yeah you know, that's, that's, you need it there. that's what you want at disneyland or a bunch of drunk people and it's it's not like all of Disneyland is going to have alcohol. It's just Epcot. Uh, no, uh, the cantina scene from Star Wars: A New Hope and uh, The Force Awakens, uh. Ogas will feature music and exotic drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So in the Star Wars setting, you can get pissed. Okay. There you go. So <laughs> I, I I was in Orlando. Uh, 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 six months ago and they took us to uh the animal kingdom uh which is one of the you know the disney things all i saw there was uh, screaming kids parents that just couldn't wait to get out of there 
and they need alcohol because I, I tell you, I have never seen so many unhappy people in the happiest place in the world as I did in this. It's uh, called the uh, happiest Disney. place on earth. That's what it's. Yeah, same thing, earth, earth, world. Uh, Trump's world's going to suck for everyone, so they should get used to it. Oh, is Trump world a new uh, Epcot uh, uh, attraction? Yeah, it's just below the colonoscopy attraction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have a great orangutan display. It's my favorite. <laughs> Don't monkey it up. No, here's the thing oh, about here's no. the thing about California. Oh, nice. uh, here's the thing I mentioned earlier about California. Net neutrality took a big step forward this week in California, uh, with the state assembly on Thursday approving a bill that would restore Obama era pr uh, protections that were abolished this year by the Federal Communications Commission. The legislation would prohibit Internet providers from blocking or slowing down websites and video games or charging fees for faster speeds. Uh, the bill also prohibits Internet providers from engaging in a practice called zero rating in which it exempts certain content from monthly data caps. The bill passed the Assembly 16 to, 61 to 18 vote and now moves on to the Senate. So, Hey, you, you don't think that those uh, video games are dangerous? How about the gamer conference where the guy goes in and shoots up 19 people? And it was a football to... gaming conference. Yeah, Football gaming conference? It was, Same it was thing. Madden NFL. Yeah, it was so Madden it's, it's NFL. It wasn't a first person it, it, shooter. It wasn't fucking Tomb Raider, okay? Well, yeah, hey, you so, you know, you throw the ball, you shoot the gun. Same By the thing. way, that's going to be the big thrill for me this month. Uh... Uh, early on this month, my my new Tomb Raider game is coming because they have. Ooh. I played them. I played every version of the Tomb Raider game since it began. Wow! Basically, I've, I've because never it, played a video game other than uh, Pong and uh, the the one where the little Pac Man. Pac Man. Pac Man. Uh, okay. Well, I've been doing uh, Tomb Raider since the very beginning, primarily because it's nice to manipulate a woman. So you know. <laughs> Uh, listen to you, Damien, a misogynistic fuck on a Friday. I know. Well, that's that's what I do. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. It's misogynistic Mon fuck Friday. Monogyni <laughs> misogyni <laughs> look, look, just remember, there's a difference. M F F. <laughs> there's a difference between uh, misogyny and um, what was the what's the other uh, type of thing that we have? We have misogyny, and we have. Um, Appendectomy. No. Um, and addictomy. Well, the one oh, where sexism. you don't like oh, women uh, and it's the one you don't like people. Misanthrope. No. Misanthropy. No. no. Yeah. The difference between sexism and, uh, oh, I know what it is. The difference between sexism and, uh, and misogyny is that uh, misogyny is wrong. Uh, excuse me. Sexism is wrong. I'll get, the, I'll get this right eventually. Sex, sexism is wrong, but misogyny comes from experience. So anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That's sick. Are you ever going to take, by the way, Renee, are you ever going to take responsibility for some women just driving us batty? Driving us crazy? No. See, treating you, treating the men. The moment that you guys admit that some men should not be treated the same way we treat you. Uh, that due you to your chromosome have... imbalance. No, so look at this. So, Ted Cruz, why would I take... Why would I accept Ted Cruz over somebody like Tom? Never. Well, I would Ted never Cruz respect is... Ted Cruz over Tom. Ted Cruz is running against a guy with a DUI. And Tom yeah, Bobo. Yeah, and his name is Bobo or something. No, it's... Um, yeah, no. No. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. I, t tell me, can I just ask Bad you this, Renee? Be, be very honest yeah. about it. Do you consider me a sexist pig? Who, you? Yeah. Personally or for the show? All men are sexist Personally. pigs. <laughs> Personally, no. Okay. All right. No. And so what I'm yelling <laughs> at you guys, it's, it's normally not any of you. It's the Ted Cruz kind of people. Like, I am not going to give that pedophile in Alabama... Roy Moore or whatever his name is I'm not going to give him the same respect because he's not a man he's an adolescent male that took advantage of a woman who didn't have anybody else there and gave away her parental rights so that Roy Moore can screw his da her daughter so Roy Moore is not equal to a Jeff Stein 
Roy Moore is not equal to a Phil Meyer. And you, for you to say that I have to treat all men the same way, you're not paying attention to how jackass some of these men are. But Can Roy I practice Moore, being a Republican? Sure. Yeah. Um, don't you think that it's actually more the parents' fault for allowing that to happen? No. Okay, so let, yeah, so uh, yeah, Roy, Roy Moore, Moore had a Moore choice. Was, he, he was he was a uh, junior deputy, junior assistant <laughs> DA or something like that, right? He knew what he was doing because he, he had was in his late twenties, early thirties. No, I was actually trying to be a Republican. I was actually trying playing. To <laughs> I was playing the. I, I don't think that. I was just well, saying, I was trying, I'm practicing being a wait Republican. Wait a minute, no, but you have to, wait a minute, 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 hold on a second. how good it was that Ray. Roy Moore supports Ray. Uh, the malls Ray. of America. Ray. Yes, Ray, and after you did what you did, you have to go, and seen. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, no, playing I, the part, so you, and seen. Yeah. You people, you men have got to understand. There's you? a huge <laughs> difference between men and women. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You if you, if, if head, we were all black and you said you people, we would take great offense at that and we'd be considered racist. So by it doing is. it to a bunch of white males here, uh, are, isn't, isn't that sexist? Isn't that sexist? I don't like being called people. Oh, I'm sorry. You people. I'm Jewish. I don't count. And see. Jeff, what would you like us to call you? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> okay, nothing. <laughs> call, call, call him for dinner. Okay. Well, yeah. Bert's got his hand up. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, Kevin. Did you have your hand up? I thought no. he had his no. hand. Up. Oh, yeah. Vernon has his hand up. I yeah. I, I heard a good joke last week. It was uh, t talking about trade and how Trump is handling trade. You know, it's the, the way trade is supposed to work is like sex between two people. When it's done right, both are happy, unless Trump gets involved. <laughs> <laughs> and they're good. soaked with piss. <laughs> that, yeah. 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 If you believe Sorry. the... Sorry. And seen. That was and really seen, yeah. <laughs> If you believe the Steele dossier, which I do, and seen. I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, also in the news... Also in the news, a producer at NBC News who worked closely with Ronan Farrow as he was putting together material for his ex expose on Harvey Weinstein, a story NBC passed on that was eventually published in the New Yorker says the order to halt reporting came from the very highest levels of NBC. Ooh. Rich McHugh, a producer sure I hate Ronan Farrow. who recently, I do too, recently mm. left I'm his job sure. to a, 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 in the investigative unit at NBC News is the first person affiliated with NBC to publicly charge the network impeded his and Mr. Ronan's, uh, Mr. Farrow's uh, efforts to nail down the story of Mr. Weinstein's alleged mis mis sexual misconduct. Now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's NBC's <laughs> side of it. NBC denied McHugh's characterization this week, the report notes, with the network repeating a previous suggestion that Farrow's work was not ready for broadcast at the time, and he decided to bring it to the New Yorker. But the Times piece says McHugh described NBC as resistant throughout the eight-month uh, reporting process. The Times quotes McHugh saying, three days before Ronan and I were going to head to L.A. to interview a woman with a credible rape allegation against Harvey, I was ordered to stop the interview with this woman and to stand down on the story altogether. I also saw an additional story in which NBC said that when Farrow said, I want to take this to, uh, 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 to um, the New Yorker, uh, they said, fine, it's okay with us. All the research you've done for us, you can go give it to the New Yorker. And he said when, they went to the, when he went to the New Yorker, he went with more information than he had when he proposed it to NBC which they didn't see that had been vetted well enough. So Now, maybe it wasn't vetted well enough because uh, now we're finding out from the emails from one of his accusers, a uh, main accuser, that it was more consensual than she's led on to believe. Well, in that one particular case, you know, uh, uh, you know I, I, I think that it's... Uh, I think that what they're trying, to, what what NBC is trying to say is, is that 
we didn't feel he had enough information for us to make these kind of accusations. You know, when you're making an accusation against a person, you have to have the proper information. So if he tries to sue you, you can go into court and say, here, and hold up papers saying we have these, the, this proof. These documents. These yeah. documents. Uh, he didn't have them, and he didn't get them, and didn't present them till he went to the New Yorker. And then they, he, got the, they, he got all the information that NBC was not privy to. What so was, you what was that? Farrow's source? Oh, I believe it absolutely. I believe that a network would be very careful with a story like that. What do you I think Farrow's source was? Wouldn't. The sources, so. the sources were women uh, who uh, who didn't want to be named at the time, Pecker. and NBC felt uh, because they didn't have names of people and because he didn't have names of people. He didn't have all the all the information he used in the New Yorker. He didn't have at the time. He presented the story to NBC, is what NBC is saying. So, yes, so says NBC. No, but, but, but why is all of a sudden NBC the liar in this case? Roland Farrow's a piece of fucking shit. Well, hold on a second. So the Pecker guy is the person who's in charge of the National Enquirer, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Is there, do these people like run in the same circle? Was there any benefit for NBC to, to shut it, it down? Because Weinstein wasn't really working for NBC, but he had a production company. No, they, right? what, what, is, what does the Inquirer have to do with uh, uh, NBC or the, uh, what was the, uh, the well, New Yorker? There's a pattern here of, there could be a pattern here of shutting the story down. And we're trying to find out if it's just bullshit or if we can figure our way through it or we don't really care. Because the cat's already out well, of the all I'm saying, All I'm saying is they didn't shut it down because uh, uh, they were worried about Weinstein or doing business with Weinstein. In fact, Weinstein has to do business with them. They were worried about the legal ramifications if they ran a story that wasn't fully vetted. Yes, Tom, did you have your hand up? Yeah, I, I'm confused as well because, you know, what the, the National Enquirer was doing is they were actually, pay, well, you know, they, they pay for their stories. And this particular case uh, regarding uh, the stu McDougal, yeah. uh, they were actually paying her uh, story to kill it. Yeah. And yeah. You know, the words coming out more, there's more information that, that there's a whole bunch of stories. But like she that. agreed to it, right? Definitely a different situation than what we've got with NBC. So yeah. uh, I don't know what, you're, what you mean. Are you accusing NBC of, of potentially killing the story by buying it? Because well, they, well, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But NBC oh, yeah. didn't do catch and release. What they did is they released. They told him, uh, if you want to take this thing over to the New Yorker, uh, go be our guest. You know, even though you did all the research on our dime, it's okay for you to go over there because we cannot run this story as it is currently constituted. And they're claiming that once he went over to the New Yorker, he had more releases, more information, more names, all of that. And so the New Yorker felt comfortable with it. I think if he had gone with the stuff that NBC wouldn't take, I think they, he probably never would have gotten that thing published in the New Yorker. I think they saw that it was legally right at that point. You have a full house. Yeah, I know. Yay. I know. Yes, because... Uh, we got Brian Ludwig at the last moment is driving down the road. Where are you going? Home, Brian? I am going home. I am in uh, just a bit of delivery in Washington, D.C. So Yeah, okay. So I am currently. I'm assuming you can both see and hear me then. Yes, I can My hear you. There is a thump, town. though. There is a There's thump. There's a click. Mm -hmm. So you've got to drive to Philadelphia now on a Friday night? Well, I think he lives in Pittsburgh. Summer. I think yeah, he I live in Pittsburgh. Right. I live in Pittsburgh, so I'm driving. The summer. That is correct. Yeah, Good. yeah. So, but uh, it's raining, isn't yeah. it? So anyway, so all That's I'm saying is that the uh, the story with uh, NBC was they they just they just they didn't they didn't think they didn't they didn't think the story was ready. <laughs> Who's whose dog is that? Renee. Oh, it's your dog. Oh, okay. Oh. She said the dog is saying you're a sexist. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, by the way, uh, Robin Wright, star of House of Cards with Kevin Spacey, says he deserves a second chance. He deserves a second chance? Well, good for her. Did uh, she uh, sleep with him? Uh, she no. says. Uh, In fact, I heard her say that they barely even talked except when, during the middle of scenes. They would yeah, just say hello and then walk on. Yeah, but he says, I believe every human being ha has the ability to reform 
and in that sense, second chances or whatever you're going to call it, absolutely, I believe in that. It's called growth. Well, she's trying to be PC. Me, I, I've said it before. Uh, unless if I were, if I were the executive producer, one of the executive producers of that show, or any show where it's, uh, a scenario like that happened with one of the lead actors, my stance would be: unless he's in handcuffs and doing the perp walk, he's coming right the fuck back on next season. I would. So I, all these social justice warriors can eat my ass, suck my cock, and lick my asshole. Because unless he's in handcuffs and going to jail. Fuck you and your mother and your sister and your brother all at once in a fucking king-sized bed. By the way, it, it, it's, interesting, right it's interesting. It's interesting. That, it, it, interesting when Brian comes on, he uses He's up. In DC. He uses Shit. up all our uh, cursing quote quotient for the night. <laughs> Uh, just the time span of like two minutes. <laughs> I, I never. I, I think if you listen to that sentence, uh, every other word was one which, if we were on radio right now, like I never told him I was going to be on national radio because I didn't want him called. Yeah, sure. You know. But if I had called, I I, 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 I had other shit I was doing. But of course, because I've called on the our local yeah. uh, station KDKA before, and of course I yeah. cleaned my language up. Do you know KDKA uh, was the first radio station in America? They, or correct. so they think, although they honestly believe that the first real radio station was in San Jose. Uh, I and, thought it was and, some, and obscure, it, uh, some obscure station in New York. but didn't, No. Didn't the early radio stations only have three, call, uh, three letters in yes. their call K uh, sign, and, but uh, KDKA has four? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that it, makes sense. It, they could have yeah, four. Like they KYA could have, and... Yeah. Yeah, and I'm it's, probably and it's a shame because a lot of those stations changed their call letters yeah. uh, over the years. Yeah. And was and it in St. Louis or something where the first radio station was? No, or? Well, no. KDKA is unique because it's the only it's the only uh, station east of the Mississippi River with, with the first letter of K. Yeah, all the rest of them are W. And the reason it does is because it was essentially they say the first station, but the argument is that down in San Jose. They actually started broadcasting. It became KCBS, huh. uh, and that they were broadcasting before KDKA. So th there's been yeah. an argument going for years. As now, as Vernon, you, you're a W uh, for your ham. Are there hams that are Ks when they're on this side of the country? No, it's it's not. It's all it's W. Not, it's not rated by geogra geogra geography. Um, ham call signs can begin with W K. N or the letter A. How about how about how about uh, west of the Mississippi? Can you name a station that starts with W? I don't know. W K P I X. No, no. no. Um, no I, I, Tom, sorry. I bet Tom knows. <laughs> Other than that show W K R P. Wait, 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 no, I can't. Hold on a second. That's in Cincinnati. Yeah. W M A L. Tom, Tom's got his hand up. Uh, yes, Tom. Waco. W A C O in Waco, <laughs> Texas. And they and got actually. There's actually also a television station, in Philadelphia, KYW. Oh, okay. Uh, but that actually used to be K. Oh, it used to be an NBC station, KCR, mm -hmm. KRCV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was called KRCV, uh, Channel Three. Yeah. Uh, before it became uh, KYW. Tom, how do you know this stuff? <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm, a, I'm a big radio fan. That's how yeah. I listen to Alex. I mean, when I when I turned on. To no, Alex, he's a radio said, span, fan. I, I grew up with. This is fun. He's a radio yeah, fan, in spite of the fact that he listened to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, and I just I just realized, you know, that, that you know you are actually a, a bridge between the 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 radio people I grew up because you as as they were going through their careers, you started working and working with them. So, you know, you mentioned Joe Pine. Yeah. You know, you, you do Joe Pine in L.A. Um, uh, and I, well, I, I, I didn't know him. I didn't know. I didn't know him. Actually, my wife at the time, my first wife, whose name I can't remember right now, uh, was, uh, was, uh, work, right. didn't work for him, but was, knew him quite well. Yeah. But I never met you, him. You know what Alex did that a lot of people didn't do is he always opened up uh, his uh, his show to people to come in and visit the way he was able to do as a kid, and 
you know, uh, the first time I talked to him when he moved out here, I said, is this the same Alex Bennett that is in, was in New York? He says, yeah. He says, come on down to the studio. That was how he yeah, uh, messed yeah. it all I up. I didn't remember you then either, <laughs> did I? Huh? I didn't remember you then either, did I? Yeah. You don't remember me coming down the studio? Huh? No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look a lot he says he, about he it. said he knew me I, in New York, I, and then he said he knew me in San Francisco. I think he's been putting me on all along. One of these days, he goes, I actually didn't know you at all. <laughs> oh, it, it was it was not it was Alex somebody else. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had a lot of hangers on. You know, I I'm sorry, I was uh, that popular. Yeah, the, the groupies, the groupies, the groupies. Oh, the groupies. Oh, the groupies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got my cast offs right. Yeah, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, anyway. Um, that I even got some that never got through to you because they called the yeah. station when I answered. We have a thump going on. <laughs> Would you do me a favor, Brian? Would you mute your phone just to see if those, that thump is coming from you? Yeah, okay. that, that's where it was coming from. Just mute it when you're not using it, okay? There, yeah. there we go. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Keenan listened to me when he was a kid. Oh, God. Yeah. His grandfather <laughs> His listened to you. Listen, there's only, there's only 23 years difference in our age. So if you listen to me as a kid, yeah, it's very possible. He's full of that. He's he older than that. Huh? <laughs> I, was, I listened to you. I was like out of college and before. And I listened to you when I was 17 or 16 in New York. Yeah, but you got to remember when I was working in New York, I was only like 29 years old. I was the youngest. At that time, I was the youngest person working radio in New York. But I never I never uh, met you when you were on uh, WMCA. I met Frankie Crocker. I met a bunch of other people, but I never met you. Uh, yeah. and, and, it was already, and, and I did an interview with Terrell Matheny for my high school paper. And uh, well, you, you have to explain he, that was he was the program director at uh, WP WMCA, MCA. And, right? And he took it half talk. He, well, I was there when it went half talk, and I yeah, I guess I worked with Matheny, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, the program director I remember the most was a woman named Ruth, Ruth Meyer. Meyer, yeah, yeah, yeah. She started the good guys, yes. So Matheny right. couldn't had to come after her. Oh, he much yeah, after Yeah, he her. came after her, right. She, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the whole reason for my interview was what's going on at WMCA, why are they going from a music format to a talk format? And uh, so... And they said uh, because we got this one guy named Alex Bennett who's a shoe-in <laughs> and is going to make us millions. Yeah, yeah. Then they, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it, so the good guy format went away, and uh, I guess they got rid of the rest of the T-shirts or sweatshirts. Ah, is it time for me to, I guess it is time for me to play the theme and get out of here. If I don't do it, you know, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Wait a minute. i got to get rid of some audio here. Hold on a second. Something is putting out with audio. Oh, there we go. Why, why is that? There we go. Got rid of it. Okay. Sometimes there's a tab open and the sound is coming through. Hey, listen. What a nice way to end the week. We have a full, we had a, do we have a full house? Yeah. We have a full yeah, house. Yeah, full we house. did. Yeah. Uh, and I thank you, Tom, for being part of that full house. and one of the first callers tonight. Uh, and as well as uh, uh, Vernon, who was the first caller tonight. Woo-hoo. Does he get a prize for mm-hmm. being the first caller? I don't know. Two uh, shows even. He did went in first on um y- Yeah. Gabnet yeah, Bucks. Yeah. Jeff he was Stein. he was first on Damien's show too, right? Yeah. Wow. Uh no, his mom was. Oh. Uh, no, yeah. she's not a caller. Yeah. Jeff, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, she calls him. Jeff, thank you. Uh thank you to Phil right. Meyer. Thank you to Renee Collins. Thank you to Ray Renati. Thank you to Kevin. Glad right, everything came out okay. <laughs> uh, thanks Everybody to Keenan and thanks to Brian. like a white tornado. Yeah. <laughs> All of you give a big uh, wave goodbye to the audience so they can see your shining faces. Thank you everybody. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Uh that's it. That's our group for tonight. That's the citizen panel. That's the way the citizen panel works so that you know how it, uh, how it goes and you can be part of it. Just go to the GabNet page on the right-hand side. tells you how you can do it. 
and then you can give us a call as well. Uh, next, The Intersection with Jack Bishop, 1 o'clock this morning. Yes, it's going to be uh, Connections. On uh, Tuesday night, I'll be here as the first show because uh, Damien has to take the night off. So we'll see you at 10 o'clock on Tuesday, same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what? Tell her I love her, okay? Okay.